Hello, everybody. It's me, Dawn. So this is a recap of what happened during the 100 Baby stream. I like the stream, but I feel like the 100 Baby Challenge is going to be more a YouTube thing. But if you do want to catch streams, I am planning on having a Rags to Riches series to be stream only, pretty much. But let's do a recap of what happened. So first... We did like a slight house upgrade. I had someone in chat give me a number one to 10,000. They gave me 5,000. So I added 5,000 simoleons to the household. We just gave, we made an extra room. So if you were watching my uh, YouTube videos at all during the whole month of February, I uploaded one video a day and it was NFEB shell. And one of the NFEB shells that I did was like a movie theater room for kiddos. So we added that in. I took the actual like, theater thing out and just put a normal tv in there and so we did that upgrade and then enid aged up to a child from the toddler stage enid is the werewolf baby but she does not have the werewolf trait she has the um oh what is it called she's not a werewolf but it's like dormant so she's a dormant werewolf so she didn't actually get the werewolf trait itself not a werewolf but i wish she had been and then after that Eleven also aged up. So Eleven aged up to a teenager, which was really cool. She looks a lot different from Max, actually, which surprises me, especially because I used to get them mixed up all the time on accident. There was a lot of, like, in-between time, and then Christmas time came around, and for some reason, Father Christmas kissed us? Like, he gave us a- he gave Max a kiss, and then left, which was startling, if I'm being completely honest. Are you gonna come steal our food, sir? Excuse me? Did Santa Claus just kiss you? Okay, maybe our next man will be Santa to have a baby with. What the heck just happened there? Then we had to take Burger to the vet because for some reason this cat got sick not once, but twice during the stream. So this was the first time we took him to the vet. We had to take him to a vet the second time. While at the vet, there was an urn of some random pet, and I thought about taking it back home to add to our garden of souls but i did not do that so it was a thought that i had we didn't do it my husband gave me a strange look while he was sitting beside me when i said it but all good all good um yeah so after we took him to the vet he was all fine for like maybe 20 minutes and then we had to take him again but after we took him to the vet finley and royal both both aged up royal aged up first and then finley did but i mean they're twins so they aged up about the same time which was actually really nice and then an upset on my end but 11 aged up before tibia did so 11 aged up and was moved out of the house before our oldest kid did so tibia was still in the house for a little bit longer her grades were suffering even though I feel like she should have had a great grade. She, for some reason, was not good on her grades. So, 11 aged up first. And then we had our twins. So, we had another set of twins. This was Knox Greenberg's babies. So, we had a set of two boys, which I'm so happy because if you've actually been following the series, um, before these two, Finley was our only boy from Max's kids. And then um, Max's brother... Hunter Jr. He was the only boy that Crystal had. So we've had th four boys in total out of all of them. So that was really cool. And the baby's names are Jaden and Kevin. So Jaden and Kevin are our two boys and they actually made it so we got the full house. So we had all eight Sims, including Burger. Um, but yeah, so that happened. We had the two twins and they are adorable, by the way. So, like I said, the cat had to go back to the hospital, so I had Tibia take the cat this time instead of Max going, but Tibia took the cat to the hospital again, because for some reason he just keeps getting sick, and the house was a disaster and it was disgusting, but it was all fine after that. Then, we took the whole family to that park that was made for me, and I will link the video up in the top so you can see the park itself, um, if you want to go watch that. But a park was made for me. If you guys want to make anything for my Sim series on uh, the 100 Baby Challenge, it's hashtag Dawn's 100 BB Challenge. So I'll put that across the screen too. If you guys want to make Sims for that or um, places to go, please let me know. I'd love to see them. And that's where this place was. So it was beautifully made and I loved it. It was so cute to watch the toddlers and just all the kids interacting together. That's probably my favorite part of the 100 Baby Challenge is all the kids interacting. So I'm really excited 
for the new uh, game pack coming out because I cannot wait for more interactions within the family. But yeah, we all went to the park, had a good time, and then we went home and Tibia aged out of the house and then Enid aged up to a teen, which was so exciting. I also really love Enid's new clothing style and her hair. So originally she had brown hair, but as she's aged up into a teen, she has brown hair with dyed red. So she like was following how her dad's hair was, but then she was like trying to emulate Max, which I just think is freaking adorable. We then had like a little party because Max has the um like party animal trait. So we had to do some parties. So we did one party, invited our siblings over, invited our kids that have moved out. And then I realized that Max is kind of not aging, and I think that might actually be a problem. But I don't know how to make it so she ages while pregnant. I don't know if that's actually a thing you can do. So if anybody knows how to fix that, that'd be cool. Because, like, everybody is so old, and she is not really aging. So that's a cool thing. Because, like, yeah. So that's a thing that I've noticed. And I'm actually really sad because Enid aged out already. So, like, she was super good with her grades. She aged out already. So, I'm going to definitely have her come around the house just so you guys can see her more. Because we did not get to see her very much. And I want her to become a werewolf. Like, I want her to be non-dormant anymore. I want her to be a real werewolf. So, that is something that I planned. Because I actually added all of the siblings and the kiddos to, like, clubs. So hopefully we can have them hang out together and do things. And I'm hoping with the new pack with the family reunions coming and that kind of stuff and baby showers, we can see the kids more and have more family time together. But yeah, that was kind of what the stream was. So we just did some family bonding time and a bunch of the kids. We had another set of twins. The kids got older. Uh, Tibia, Eleven, and Enid all aged out by the end of it. But I just wanted to give you guys a little update in case you miss the stream and don't want to go watch the whole video because three hours is a lot. And I noticed for some reason my audio was cutting out a little bit, so I'm going to have to figure that out too. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If I ever do another 100 Baby Challenge stream, which I kind of don't think I'm going to unless it's like a 30 minute to an hour one just to make it a little more palatable for all of you. But yeah, so I hope that was a good little update. Um, we added a bathroom to the upstairs as well to give that, but other than that, I think that was kind of the gist of what happened. So I hope you enjoy this little update, enjoy the pictures that I added because they're adorable and the little video clips and, um, yeah, hopefully this was enjoyable to watch and helped you guys understand what happened. I know this was a little bit short, it was a run through, but yeah, I enjoyed the stream, but I definitely think we're going to start a Rags to Riches series on there and not stream the 100 Baby Challenge. I enjoy it being a video that we do together.